Good morning. It's Thursday morning, September 16th, 2021. And it's a joy to be able to share thoughts with you from the Word of God today. You know, the Bible is an inexhaustible supply of wisdom. And if we just fix our hearts and minds on the Word of God, we'll be stable. We'll be more uh, joyful day by day. And we'll be able to rejoice in the Lord because God has given us promises that cannot fail. We live in a very unpredictable culture. Our world today is just beset with all kinds of problems that cause people to get very, very upset and very uh, and feel uh, very unstable. But the Word of God never changes. What a blessing it is. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota. And I'd like for us to consider Proverbs chapter 15, verse 33, for just a moment this morning. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 33 says, The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. And I was thinking about these two statements. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. And one would almost imagine that the other side, the contrast to that would be somebody who doesn't fear the Lord. The wicked, the way of the wicked. But the Bible says the fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. And in order to receive, these are actually very related truths. In order for us to receive the instruction of wisdom that comes from God, we have to humble ourselves. We have to be humble and willing to listen when God speaks to us. You know, the Bible says many, many times that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And it, it is the instruction of wisdom and before honor is humility. And before we can be honored by God, we must be willing to humble ourselves before God. Pride is a very great sin against God. Pride says, look what I've done. Look what I've accomplished. Whereas humility says, no, it wasn't me. God's the one who did it. And that's the only honest position that we can actually take because we don't have anything but what God hasn't given us, what hasn't been already given to us as a gift. So how can we claim credit for it ourselves? I've said many times, pride is a lie. And it just is not so that we were able to produce this thing. This whole concept of the self, self-made self man is, is false. Nobody just did this all by themselves and brought themselves to success just because their own cleverness and their own strength and their own wit. Before God can honor someone, people have to be realistic and and be humble before him in order before in order for God to be able to bless them. And the Bible says the fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom and before honor is humility. Before God can honor us, we have to be willing to humble ourselves before him. He will not tolerate people trying to steal his glory. Glory that rightfully belongs to God for what he has done. And so humility causes us to say, oh, it wasn't me, it wasn't me, it was God. He deserves the credit for what's happened. He's the one who gave me breath to breathe. He's the one who gave me a heart that beats. He's the one who gave me health. He's the one who gave me a sound mind. In the first place, I didn't do anything to create these benefits that allow me to come to the point of success. And all that goes back to the fear of the Lord, which is the beginning of wisdom. We begin to have real wisdom as we acknowledge and reverence and fear a holy God, the holy God of eternity. Be humble before him. Let him get glory out of your life. Seek to, to give him the honor for the things that he deserves. Fear God. And the Bible says you'll have wisdom and you will be one whom God can bless if you will receive the instruction of wisdom, if you will give God the glory that he deserves. If you'll be humble and open your heart and follow him, be willing to listen when he speaks and give him credit for what he has done. God bless you today.